So here we're going to be computing uh, derivatives by using the definition of the derivative. Now, at some point you'll learn the easier methods for how to compute derivatives, but in the beginning um, uh, it's always important to be able to use the limit definition to compute a derivative. And I'm going to write the limit definition uh, as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. Okay. Sometimes some teachers use h instead of delta x. doesn't really matter. It means the same thing. The idea is it's a secant line slope, and you're taking the limit as that secant line slope um, approaches a single point. And so in a, in a case like this where f of x equals 6, this is going to be the limit as delta x approaches 0. Uh, I'm going to have 6 because if I plug in, it doesn't matter what I plug in for x here. I always get 6 minus 6 over delta x. And that's 0 over delta x. Um, and any, 0 divided by anything will just be 0 the whole time. So this derivative, the derivative of a constant is 0. Um, for this one, we're going to, again, we're going to still apply our same, uh, our same rule. So I'm going to say the limit is delta x approaches 0. If I plug in x plus delta x into here, it's going to be 4 plus, um, oh, it's 4 minus. And instead of t, I plug in x plus delta x. Okay, I, I guess I should use t technically because it's the variable t. It doesn't really matter. Minus f of x, which is 4 minus 3x, all over delta x here. Okay, and then now we have to do a little bit of simplification on the top. Because note that when I plug in 0, for example, I'm going to just simply get 0 on the top and 0 on the bottom. So... Whenever you run into a case like that, like we've done before, is we have to use um, some algebra tricks to simplify it, right? To make it uh, more like we had to cancel factors, like if it was a quadratic. Um, and so that's what we have to do here. We have to simplify. So I'm going to distribute this 3 and distribute all the negative signs. So the top is going to be 4 minus 3x minus 3 delta x by distributing the minus 3 to the x and delta x. This is going to be a minus 4 here. And this is going to make this minus a negative 3x a plus 3x over delta x. Now, one of the key things should always happen in a scenario like this when you're simplifying these is everything without a delta x should eliminate. So I have a 4 and a minus 4. That cancels. I have a minus 3x and a plus 3x. That cancels. And so I'm left with um, minus 3 delta x over delta x. And then because of that, the delta x is cancel, and I'm left with negative 3. Now let's try a little bit of a harder one. Uh, I'm going to take the limit as delta x approaches 0 of now um, I always actually write it every time just to just to make sure I have in my head exactly all the steps that are gonna I'm gonna put into here. Now I'm not writing sometimes I'm leaving out the limit delta x goes to 0. Just keep in mind it is there the whole time. Uh, sometimes I might get a little sloppy and forget to write it, but you have to remember that you're going to do a lot of simplification and then you're going to do the limit at the very end. So f of x plus delta x, in this case, I need to plug in x plus delta x for this here. I'm going to get x plus delta x cubed minus f of x, which is just x cubed divided by delta x. Okay, And again, when I plug in delta x is 0, I'm going to get 0 over 0. So the, what I have to do here is I have to do a, a, an expansion of this. And hopefully you remember your expansions. Uh, you can do this by hand. Or if you remember your Pascal's triangle or whatever techniques you like to use, it's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus x cubed. Okay. So I just simply did a, um, an expansion of this term here. And then note that anything without a delta x ought to cancel if you've done everything correctly. All the del everything without a delta x should, should eliminate. So note that the x cubed and this minus x cubed will cancel. And so I get the limit as delta x goes to 0 of all of this, 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed over delta x. 
And note that the delta x I can eliminate from, from each one of these terms, because each one has a delta x. You could think of it as a factoring of delta x and canceling, or I just say, well, this is going to cancel with that. I'm going to have one there, and then I'll have two left there. So this is going to be the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay, and now I can just simply plug in delta x of 0 into here and say, well, all of these will go to 0, and I'm left with 3x squared. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more examples, go to my website. In there, I have free access to over 400 calculus questions that I solve and I show you step by step. So if you're interested in seeing more, please check out my website.